No, Senator Graham. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, General Petraeus, uh, I can't tell you how much it means to all of us that you're willing to do this, and it is very unfortunate that uh, General McChrystal is resigning from the Army. And uh, in case he's listening, I think about everyone here who's met him has nothing but great respect for his service and the incident which led to his resignation is very unfortunate. It should not be the the end of his uh, evaluation in terms of uh, being an Army officer. He was a right. terrific Army officer, and I want to let everyone know that that most everybody who met who met him believes that. Now, I don't know how this translates in Pashtun, but it's not translating well for me in English in terms of where we're at and where we're going. And I would not use the word relentless, General, in terms of the policy that we're embarking on regarding the enemy. That's just my two cents worth. Uh, from what I can take, here's the summary of your testimony from my point of view, and I may be wrong. Uh, it doesn't appear there are going to be any civilian changes uh, in terms of the team in Afghanistan. Is that correct? That's beyond my purview. Senator. Okay. No. Well, from what I can tell, it doesn't seem to be any contemplated. From your testimony, I think you've created an expectation by the American people in July 2011 we will begin to withdraw from Afghanistan. Is that a correct uh, assumption I've made or not? Uh, what I have done is restate the policy as it currently exists, Senator, and the policy, again, that as I stated, I supported uh, and agreed to uh, back last fall to begin a process in July 2011 uh, by uh, under which tasks are transferred to Afghan security forces and government officials and a, quote, responsible drawdown of the surge forces uh, begins pace to, to be determined by conditions. The Vice President has been quoted as saying about this particular topic, come July, we're going to begin leave in large numbers. You can bet on it. Is his view of the policy correct? Well, first of all, I've heard if that's Secretary an accurate Gates, statement. If I've that heard is Secretary an Gates excuse, excuse me. state that he excuse never. Excuse me, sir. Let me ask my question. Is it an is his statement, if accurate, is, does that make sense in terms of what you think the policy to be? So the Vice President of the United States has been quoted in a book widely published in the United States, which I'm sure the enemy can have access to, that come July 2011, we're going to be leaving in large numbers. You can bet on it. Is he right? Well, first, let me just uh, state something that he said that I could share with you and others. Okay. Uh, in the National Security Council meeting that followed the meeting that I had with the President in the Oval Office, uh, at which the President laid out what the future was going to be and described his expectations. The Vice President grabbed me and said, you should know that I am 100 percent supportive of this policy. Uh, and I said uh, that I'm reassured to hear that. Is it okay to share that with others? And then beyond that, I might add that uh, I'm hosting Vice President Biden for dinner tonight at our quarters uh, right. in Tampa. And so, again, we have another opportunity to continue that conversation. The third and final point is, Secretary Gates has said, I believe in testimony, that he never heard Vice President uh, Biden uh, say that remark either. So for, for what it's worth. Well, that is, it's worth a lot because he's saying one thing to one person allegedly, and he's saying another, to, uh, another thing to you, and they don't reconcile themselves. And that is exactly my point. It depends on who you seem to be talking to. Because a lot of liberal people in this country are being told, directly and indirectly, we're getting out beginning July 2011. How fast, I don't know, but we're beginning to leave. And somebody needs to get it straight without doubt what the hell we're going to do come July, because I think it determines whether or not someone in Afghanistan is going to stay in the fight. Now, this is all not your problem to fix. This is a political problem, because I'm assuming the July deadline did not come from you. You said it didn't. You agreed to it. But somebody other than you came up with this whole July get out of Afghanistan deadline, and I think it's all politics, but that's just me. In the House, Friday, the Speaker of the House said, I don't know how many votes there are in the caucus, even conditions based for the war, hands down. I just don't. 
we'll see what the shape of the day of, we'll, we'll, we'll see what the shape of it is the day of the vote. A letter was sent to the president by Barbara Lee, a Democratic member of the caucus from the Foreign Relations Committee. It said, Mr. President, we believe that it is imperative for you to provide Congress and the American people with a clear commitment and plan to withdraw U.S. forces from Afghanistan. This should include not only a date certain for the initiation of this withdrawal, but a date for the completion and a strategy to achieve it. You're advising Congress now. We fund the war. What would you say to her recommendation that war funding have a condition placed upon it that no funds can be expended until you deliver to us, the Congress, a withdrawal strategy? Well, what I have uh, stated here this morning uh, is, again, first of all, the importance of, of course, Would it be wise of us to I put that if, in legislation? I wonder if you could just finish the answer. Well, I, 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 think, I think my question is pretty simple. Would it be wise for the Congress to put such a condition on war funding? Would it undermine the mission? Well, let's think about it from the enemy's perspective and from the perspective of our friends. Uh, and as I sought to do in this in my opening statement this morning, they should be assured that with respect to one, we are going to pursue them relentlessly. And with respect, Senator, earlier, we are pursuing the enemy relentlessly. And make no mistake about it. And when you're back out there as yes, Colonel sir. Graham, you'll see it once again. Yes. Sir. And we look forward to having I, you as part of the ISAF. Command. I look forward, if, but my time's confirmed. up. You've got a chance to advise the Congress. Should we put a condition on war funding? that would say you have to submit a plan for withdrawal by the beginning of next year. Does that undercut our mission or not? Well, it would be contrary to the whole policy, which has talked about conditions-based. So again, I, I, I hope you. that's enough of an answer. Thank you.